Now we're ready to program the kiln for the first test firing. Notice the flashing display says idle TC2 and some degrees uh, on the display. That means that it's ready to program. It's in the what's called as the idle mode. So now we can hit slow bisque, which is what we want, and it says S-BC for slow bisque. Hit enter to accept that information, and the word cone will flash back and forth with some number. That's a cone number. We want to put in cone 5. And this is a good time to remind you that there's a huge difference between 05 and 5 or 6 and 05. Make sure that you understand that distinction. So we're going to change this to 5 by hitting 5 and then enter. And now the hold is coming up as 00. zero point zero zero. That's zero hours and zero minutes. That's what we want. So we're going to leave that by hitting enter. It now says complete. Now we're going to program one other thing in additionally and that's one of the easy fire options which is a preheat. So we're going to go in there and the hold, it's a hold and that hold is zero zero dash zero zero we want that to be three hours and no minutes now what this will do is put in a low temperature hold around 150 degrees Fahrenheit just enough to burn out the water in the kiln and now we're ready to fire and we hit the start stop button and notice it says on, we're now firing. There's one more important thing that we need to do, and that is review the program. We want to make sure that we have everything right. This is a good double check to do whenever you have programmed a new program and are just starting to fire. So I hit the review program button. It says slow bisque, preheat of three hours, cone five, degrees 2167 what it's going to, cone offset, 9020, hold, no hold, no delay, no alarm. That's what that means. Error codes are on, lag is 25, and now we're back to the temperature. And it's firing. The test firing will take approximately 17 to 19 hours to complete. Be sure to monitor the kiln from time to time, especially at the beginning and the end. If you need to split this into two separate sections, see the test firing procedure in the instruction manual.